how to become a CNC technician. I'll tell you and how my dad has trained over 50 CNC technicians. I grew up and my dad ran a small independent service company and he's been in this industry for 50 years. He's trained lots of techs and myself and what he always says is the greatest CNC techs have a good electrical troubleshooting understanding. When it was time for me to go to school, he said, Aaron, you have to take electronics. So I have a two-year degree in electronic troubleshooting from the community college. It's really similar to like, say, electrical maintenance or anything that's going to teach you how to use a voltmeter. Those skills are the hardest to learn in the field. So if you want to be a good tech, you need to have an understanding of electrical. So you want to become one and you're looking to do this job. You're going to try to go get a job for a dealer, someone who sells machinery or who repairs equipment. And what they're going to do is they're going to put you right alongside an older senior technician. And you're going to really apprentice with this tech for probably a year or two. We typically say anytime we hire somebody, it's a two-year ROI. Really, it's going to take that long before you can work independently and you're confident for us to introduce you to our customers, for them to feel confident. So what skills do you need? Actually, you don't need to be a machinist. That's easier to teach than electrical troubleshooting. You need to know how to turn a wrench. You need to know how to have good communication skills and how to write a service report. You're going to need to know how to use your computer, how to have networking skills, networking. So IP addresses, things like that are really important in the newer equipment that we work on. Voltmeters, how to replace a spindle. We're going to teach you how to do a lathe alignment. We're going to teach you how do you work on a machine you've never seen before and you walk up and you have no idea how it works. Well, you're going to watch somebody do it in front of you so that you have the confidence to do it by yourself. And it's going to take a little while for you to have your toolbox, for you to feel pretty comfortable that I fixed something similar to this, but not so similar. So more nitty gritty. Really, we're going to hire you. We're going to have you work alongside us. And then we're going to send you on your own to customers you feel comfortable at to do preventative maintenance work. That's pretty easy where you change the oils. You're going to check the alignment. You're going to learn basic troubleshooting and you're going to create little problems and have to overcome them by yourself. CNC techs work by themselves. So that's the training process. Now, eventually we're going to send you to an OEM school. So one of the high end machine tool breakers offer machine tool builders offer tr classes and training. You can go to Fanuc, you can go to Kitamura, you can go to Matsura, you can go to some of the bigger name places. Siemens offers some training. So you go to a place like that for a week, the company will send you there and you're going to get some skills, but then you're going to have to come back to your home and apply them. Now, if you're interested in becoming a CNC service tech, shoot me a message. I'm looking to join someone to our apprentice program. Also, if you're a tech and you're thinking you want to start your own business doing that, keep following me because I'm going to share more tips 